we're going to talk about the difference between manual muscle test and neuromuscular facilitation test. We're going to use what you guys used in PT school to learn 1949 technology from Kendall that we're still learning. And we're going to go over lateral rotators of the hip, which according to Kendall, you test all of these at the same time. So piriformis, quad fem, obturator internus, obturator externus, gemella superior, gemella inferior. Here's Kendall's test. So here, you don't want to rotate your foot out. Okay, so what does that feel like you're using? Adductors, okay? So, make sense to do that test like that? Can she also kick in a whole bunch of other stuff to compensate if she couldn't stop me? So she could kick in abs, she can kick in her arms, she can kick in hamstrings, quads. So this tells us absolutely nothing other than how well she can compensate. Okay, so now let's compare that to NFT. Okay, so NFTs. Jamelis, don't want to rotate you out. Good. Obturator, don't want to rotate you out. Good. Quad fem, don't want to rotate you out. Piriformis, above 90, don't want to rotate you in. Good. Now, did that feel like you were using adductors, or did that feel like you were using something back here? Something back here. Okay. So, I'm putting her in position so she can't compensate, and I'm giving her a force to tease out one muscle as best we can by itself. It's not completely by itself, but it's a hell of a lot better than sitting up and doing NMTs from Kendall. 